Hi everyone, I'm Bob, Nico's assistant. In this video, I am going to show you how you can layer sample libraries within a contact multi. We all know that you are not really a composer if you don't layer the shit out of all the sample libraries that you have available. So let's see an efficient way to do this. First we will start by adding an instance of contact. If you don't know what contact is or how to use it, you probably clicked on the wrong video. Note that you will need the full version of contact as what I am about to show you will not work in the free player version. I will layer two different string libraries. The first one will be the much loved cinematic studio strings. The second one that I would use is century strings by 8DO. I want to layer a short articulation, a staccatissimo. So I start by preparing the first library, selecting the articulation that I want to use and disabling the other ones. I will consider this the master library and will try to match the second one to it. Because we want both libraries to be triggered at the same time, I need to change the input MIDI channel of the second library and set it to one just like the first library. Let's solo cinematic studio strings and have a listen to it. And now century strings. We noticed the first issue. Century strings is much louder than CSS so let's quickly adjust the volume. Then we have an issue with the panning. CSS is recorded in position, while Century Strings is recorded in a center position. I will tweak the panning to have both libraries sound approximately at the same place in the stereo field. Note that I do this by ear, for the sake of brevity. You don't have all day and neither do I but normally, I would use a metering tool to do an exact panning. That will do for now. You will also need to know your libraries. For example, I know that Century Strings has a reverb turned on by default, so I'll just disable that. Let's play them both. Now we notice that there is something a bit off with these two playing together. Maybe you've picked it up already. They don't play exactly at the same time. CSS has a delay on short notes of 60 milliseconds. How do I know this? Because I have read the manual. Century Strings has a delay closer to 40 milliseconds. So, let's go behind the scenes of Century Strings by clicking on the wrench icon. Let's expand the Insert Effects panel. As you can see, all the effect slots are already taken, but they are bypassed as shown by the little red B. I will just remove one that I am sure that I won't be using and replace it with Contact's own delay plugin. I choose Replica. The difference between 60 milliseconds and 40 milliseconds is 20, so this is what I would use for the time value. I'm very good at math. I don't need any feedback or it will sound like shit therefore I bring it down to zero. And also we don't want to use the saturation from Replica as I prefer to use my own saturation plugin later. Lastly, we don't want to hear any of the dry signal, but only the audio coming through the delay. And now, both libraries are aligned. This delay trick was to demonstrate that you can do a whole lot of stuff behind the scenes of a library, and that this is also useful in the context of layering. For example, you could also EQ the library separately. Let's add filters to Century Strings to demonstrate this. This is a simple low cut and high cut plugin. It has a visual representation on the right side. And this is how I build contact multis for layering. At this point, I usually save it as a new multi, and that makes it easier to recall it at a later time. This way, I can have just one violins track instead of several. 
In a later video, I will show you how I do the matching between dry and wet libraries and how we can take care of depth. Until then, stop watching videos and go write some great music.